Super excited to have Peter Huey from Huey Jacob PA back in the studio today to really talk about um, do I pick a lawyer or do I pick a title company? Super excited to have Peter Huey from Huey Jacob PA back in the studio today to really talk about um, do I pick a lawyer or do I pick a title company as it relates? He's our legal eagle and we're here to here, here to hear what you have to say. Uh, fair. Uh, lawyer versus title company. Uh, a lawyer can obviously practice law. So if there's any questions regarding uh, the contract, interpretation of the contract, how a court might see that contract, um, a lawyer is going to be able to give you those answers. Uh, additionally, mm-hmm. um, you know, we don't like to necessarily talk about it. We all want a smooth closing, but that doesn't always happen. If there is a dispute, whether you know the dispute's over an inspection item, uh, whether disputes over a mortgage contingency, a deposit, a title company is not going to be able to advise you. Um, if that dispute escalates to a situation where you need a lawyer to send a demand letter, uh, you need a lawyer to defend you, if you are with a title company, you're going to have to go out and hire an attorney mm-hmm. for an additional cost. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not just the cost, though. What happens if that dispute escalates on the day of closing. The closing date is times of the essence. How are you going to hire and find a lawyer on the day of closing? Somebody that can review the file, understand the file, Mm -hmm. and properly represent you if you don't already have one. Mm. Good points. Now, here in the state of Florida, let me just understand, in order to be a title company, do you have to have an attorney, a, a lawyer behind the title company? No. Okay. Um, Title companies, um, particularly if they're issuing a policy, um, are allowed to do that um, without an attorney. Okay. Some do have an attorney behind them. Yes. Uh, Occasionally, some do have an attorney behind them. Yeah. So Uh, so definitely something to ask if that's what you're considering. Yeah. I mean, the good news is, is that you have some choices. Some states only have attorneys that close, attorney states like New Jersey, New York, some of the states like that. Some are a title company only out West Coast, you know, so it depends on where you're coming from as to the type of uh, representation you want or not lack of it in the closing. Correct. And let's talk about cost for a second, because uh, generally there's this notion that title companies are cheaper. And a lot of times they are. Mm -hmm. But then the question you need to ask yourself is, how much cheaper are they? Are we talking $100 cheaper, $200 cheaper? Uh, If that's it... Think of it as an insurance policy. Yes, we want smooth transactions, but for $100, $200 extra to have an attorney behind you just in case something goes wrong, I think it's worth every penny. You've heard it here. So a lawyer versus a title company, great questions. I think that if you have those questions, you need to talk with your realtor and or more importantly, an attorney 